Lost Wheelie has a rich heritage, of which there is plenty of evidence as you explore the town. Founded by the Norman lords who built the original Restormal Castle, it was developed to become a major port for seagoing ships, exporting tin to Europe and the eastern Mediterranean. The castle was rebuilt in the late 13th century by Edmund, Earl of Cornwall, who was also responsible for building the Great Hall, the Bridge and the Square Church Tower. Edmund was very proud of his thriving town and called it his Lily of the Valley and fairest of small cities. The name Lossudil was documented in the Charter 1189. It is believed to come from the old Cornish Losquidiel, meaning the place at the tail of the forest. Throughout the 14th century, Loswithiel, known as the Port of Fowey, was the capital of Cornwall, administering fairs both Cornish and Stannery relating to tin. From the Great Hall until the Stannery Parliament was discontinued in 1752. The Great Hall later became known as the Duchy Palace. During the 14th century, the river began to silt up to excessive streaming for tin on the moors. It gradually became unnavigable to seagoing ships and lost with your loss its shipping trade to Foy. Tin and other goods were sent down river in boats of shallower drought. As production of tin in this area declined, miners moved further west and lost with your developed alternative trade in weaving, tanning, pottery and pewter. In the early 19th century, iron ore was mined north of Lost with Eel, and a thriving industry developed, resulting in rapid growth of the town. During this period, Colson Park, now a quiet riverside walk, was the scene of much noisy, heavy work. Iron ore was carried down from the mines in horse-drawn wagons, running on tram lines through the town to the jetty, where it was transferred to barges for shipping down river. This boom industry came to an end in the first decade of the 20th century. The river was used commercially into the 20th century, when limestone was barged up to the lime kilns to be made into fertiliser for agricultural use. Brunel Railway came through the town in 1859, and the maintenance works designed by him were built here, providing work for almost a century. The creamery was developed between the years 1932 to 1991, and the need for railway workers diminished and became the major employer for Lost with Eel, until it closed. Today, there is an interesting variety of small-scale businesses in town. Lost with Eel is once again experiencing change in its long, proud history. The people of the town are actively involved in the developments taking place and welcome the interest of visitors to this fairest of small cities. These events, along with others, were all brought together in the celebration of Lost with Eel's history in 1989, not only showing that its significance in time will never be forgotten, but the town is still thriving and therefore creating new parts of history to be celebrated in years to come. Lost with Eel has been twinned with the small town Pleba Christ, near Morlaix in Brittany for 40 years. You're never sure of somewhere to stay in Lost with Eel, with a great choice of hotel and pub accommodation, plus lovely bed and breakfasts. For the more independent minded, there is a great selection of self-catering cottages and apartments. Every year we have a quirky one day free festival called Lost Fest, where we have many local artists, great food markets and locally brewed taster tents. If you would like me to do a piece on your hometown or any location, leave a comment in the comment section below.